there. Well, I'm here yet again. What's this? Is this a drink? This color. I don't think this is very healthy for you. Wow, I wonder what it tastes like. Let me try a sip. Here I go. Hmm? Oh, I know. This is an energy drink, isn't it? So this is what you're always drinking. Whoopsie, I just remembered I drank a whole lot of juice right before coming here. Thanks, but I think I'll have to pass on this. That's right, talking about energy drinks, I just remembered. You know my special Netball V2, right? That was actually made by me playing around by mixing energy drinks together. When I was still a student, we had to put on a cafe for our school culture festival. I was playing around with mixing energy drinks. Uh, actually, it was a recipe I invented. It was a hit. It was so fun to see people enjoy the drink I made. So it started as tasting and comparing energy drinks led me to analyzing their ingredients and creating my own special drink. Oh, right. That giant drum that Uzume drank. I just made it taste like Netball V2. It was just water with no nutrients. Just a bit of trivia. Even as a CPU, drinking that much after a serious injury would be disastrous. Oh, but it'd be disastrous for a normal person to drink a drum full of water, too. So don't do this at home. With Netball V2, though, regardless of the ingredients, everyone gets better just by thinking they're drinking something amazing. <laughs> your head might clear up when you first drink it, but you're still pushing your body in the end. Make sure not to drink too much. Hey! It's almost time for our meeting. Is it time already? Sorry, I had a prior engagement today, so I better get going. I'll definitely be back, so wait for me. It's been a few days since Neptune and I returned from the Zero Dimension. When we got back, we threw a small tea party to apologize to everyone for worrying them, but also to thank them for helping us. However, Game Industry was still in the middle of the CPU shift period, so we were worried everyone would be too busy to accept our invitation. But day by day, the baseless slander and terrible rumors against Neptune and the others have piled up. It seems they all had way more stress piled up than I thought. Who's the jerk who posted on that image board saying I'm a lonely protector without any friends? It's spreading everywhere! I'm having similar issues. There are claims that I've been excessively purchasing expensive teas from multiple shops. But I've been home all day. Same. There are tons of Amazoo product reviews written in my name for some reason. They're all pretty negative. Weird ones, too. Some products have gotten 100 low ratings in just two weeks. And these people are misspelling words in the reviews just to piss me off. For some reason, people are being led to believe it's from my supposed secret account. Well, get this. They're all posting that I push all my work on Nep Jr. and Isti, and all I do is goof off. <laughs> How rude. Is she joking? Everyone wanted to voice their complaints, so they made time to come to our party. So, it's the same for everyone, huh? What terrible times we're living in. This is an awful mess. Thanks to this, I can't go on without eating my feelings via delicious sweets. I'll end up putting on more mass at this rate. You mean her chest is going to get larger? There are some real meanies out there. How can they write all these lies with a straight face on? I feel so bad for Blonde. I can think of two reasons. One is that this is the work of pranksters. The other is that this is an elaborate scheme set for our ruin. 
If it is the latter, it could be assumed that it's the work of hostile nations. But that almost seems inconceivable. All of our sisters are great friends. Indeed. That is why I hope the four of us can endure these troubling times. Hey, Neptune, didn't you say you had something important to tell us at this tea party? Yeah, now that I remember, you did mention that. I was too busy complaining, so I forgot. Yep, that I do. It completely slipped my mind, too. You see, I was thinking since times are tough, we should get through this as one big team instead of dealing with it individually. A surprisingly good idea coming from you, Neptune. I was starting to feel like I was at my limits working alone. Oh, I know. They say three heads are better than one, so we should be helping each other. Helping each other out, huh? I do think it's a good idea, but it'll probably be spun in a way that'll just fan the flames. I can see the criticisms in tomorrow's headlines. The new world order has begun. Or... Meet the CPUs who can't do anything on their own. I... I think you might be thinking a little too pessimistically. You'd understand if you'd been hounded by criticisms for this long. Imagine if every one of your good intentions were skewed by the public so fault was found in them. You'd get pretty pessimistic too. But I think it's worth trying. Since this is Neptune we're talking about, I'm sure she has an amazing idea. I think your expectations are too high, but what do you think, Neptune? Well, I think it'd be awesome if all our nations got together and threw a giant festival. A festival? Our nations already have those every year. You're thinking too small, Noir. I want to set up a multi-nation festival, a festival to celebrate all of game industry. And we can use up everyone's national budgets to throw the biggest party ever! I think that's going a little too far. Hmm. No, that's a good idea. What? Hear me out. I'm ignoring the part about blowing the budget, of course. Oh, good. I'm in agreement with Neptune's proposal. We've been working separately until now. But we can turn the tide with a move like this. You're right. We might just get the chance to weed out whoever's been distributing strange information, too. Distributing strange information? I'm not certain, but I think someone has been spreading rumors and lies about us to cast the people into a state of mistrust and unease. This is merely conjecture, but the scope of this work suggests the effort of a group. Otherwise, this amount of information control is impossible. I guess while I was in the other world, you all have been investigating this quite a bit. Well, aside from the fact that Neptune is as dense as usual when it comes to something important, let's try throwing this game industry appreciation festival. Then let's all make the festival a huge success! Yeah! yeah! The months that followed that tea party passed by quickly, and the Game Industry Appreciation Festival was successfully executed.
Before the festival, the rumors and accusations about the CPUs had both increased and worsened. But ever since the festival began, those lies quickly disappeared. Perhaps everyone was enjoying the festival too much to care anymore. In fact, it looked like all the shares lost by the CPUs were being restored. I'm relieved the festival opened without a hitch. Me too. I thought there would be a lot of backlash, but people from all the nations happily worked together. Which helped a lot. That definitely surprised me. It'd be sweet if everyone's faith in our sisters was restored after this. Even just a little bit. Everyone seems to be enjoying the festival, so I'm sure that'll happen. I hope so. Nepgear! Uni, we found you! Found you? Look at this! I got some crepes from that old man at the stall! Wow, those look delicious! Would you let me have a bite? Ta-da! We brought some for both of you! He gave it to us as a thanks for a fun festival! See, Uni? It's just like I said. You're right. Maybe I was just being cynical. Hey, isn't it almost time? Time? You know, for the Grand Prix Finals! Our sisters are fighting, so we gotta go cheer them on! Ram, wait for me! Hey, don't leave us behind! Wait up! And so, as if we were ignoring our needless fears, the hugely successful festival approached its final day. That was also the day when the centerpiece of the festival, the finals league of the G1 Grand Prix would begin. That's where fierce battles between warriors from all over game industry were waged. Oh, by the way, it was a little disappointing, but I lost to Vert in the final qualifying round. At least I made fifth place, though. I would personally like Neptune to win, but please, everyone, do your best! So it's come down to us four after all. This is perfect! Let's use this as a chance to see which one of us is the strongest goddess! Splendid! This is the perfect opportunity for me to show off my strength before all the nations! Goodness, you all get so overly confident when you're in your HDD forms. Well, what do you say, Neptune? I don't mind. If I'm victorious here, it will mean that Planetune's future will be bright and my place secured. It's decided then. You won't waste time with boring one-on-one -on -one matches. Let's end this with a four-woman melee. Hey, hold off on that match for a second. What the? Who is that? Show yourself immediately. You say you don't know who we are, huh? Well, let me enlighten you. We are those who reign from the four golden summits. We will call ourselves the Gold Third. Gold Third? I don't really get how that makes sense if there are four of you, but step aside! Get out of the way of our final match! So rude! Can't you see we're livening up this boring party? Normally, for this kind of service, I'd charge you guys more than you could afford. Is money your objective? Even if you were to extort us, we are not about to hand over control of game industry. Control of game industry? Not interested. Then what the hell is it? Are you little doggies gonna bark all day, or are you gonna freaking bite? <laughs> That's right. I've always wanted to try my hand against a CPU. How interesting. Do you all believe you can win against us? It isn't a question. It'll simply be done. You have a strong resolve. Very well. We will be your opponents. You in this form, no from matter who my opponent is, I'll honored. mow them down! Lazy dance! Seek! fine! Prepare yourself. Who wants to get defeated? 
chew on this! Your eyes front. I'll watch you. Not bad. I'll slice you. Can I can be lose. forgiven. This can't be. We're going to lose. This isn't possible. I didn't think we would win. But of course we would. We're strong after all. Just when we had gotten everyone excited. If it ends like this at the last moment, this will be a freaking mess to clean up. The time has come. I've been waiting for this moment. Huh? This world and its CPUs can no longer fight against these negative emotions. Wait! That's... You can't! Anything but that! Now, let us begin the reorganization of this world, this game industry. The world has been rewritten. Now, General Afimojas, what do you desire of this newly reorganized world? Wealth. I will require as much as I can possess. Money, is it? It seems the greedy exist in any era. Are you planning on starting a war? War, conflict that relies solely on arms, is conflict of the days of old. In this century, information wars reign supreme. Not only this, but information exists as both weapons and wealth simultaneously. This is the very reason my secret association, Athimax, exists. I see. You're more of an intellectual than your appearance suggests. But it wouldn't be good of you to forget our promise, now would it? Do not fear. I have not forgotten. I have already prepared the acquisition at your request. My subordinate is on the move. Ah, yes. Your subordinate. Steamax, was it? When will you introduce me? He obeys me and follows only my commands. I have no intention of him making your acquaintance. How cold. And here I've lent you the few friends I have. But it's fine. Just obtain the item. I've waited so many years. Do not make me wait any longer. Huh? Guys, where are we? I'm pretty sure we were somewhere else. Wait! Where's everyone else? Am I alone? Hey, Noir! Blonde! Vert! No one's around. Noir and Nepgear and the others are gone. What in the heck happened? If I recall, we lost to some weirdos called Gold Third. Then we suddenly were engulfed in light. And the woman who showed up in the arena at the end, wasn't that the older me? I swear she was yelling something important. She looked kind of desperate, too. This sound. Could it be? Hello? Neptune, you're safe! Yep, I'm still kicking. What about you, Noir? Hey, by the way, where are you right now? I have no idea, but I think I'm somewhere in Last Station. I can see some familiar scenery in the distance. I believe I'm somewhere in Lean Box as well. Same here. I'm pretty sure I'm looking at Louis. Vert! Blon! I'm so glad you two are okay! Likewise, Neptune. But what in the world happened? I remember making a few mistakes in battle and losing to Gold Third. So stupid. But when I came to, I was just here. Looks like everyone's in a similar situation. I feel there's something going on that's way bigger than we could have imagined. Are you talking about those towers? Exactly. Those massive towers definitely weren't there before. Towers? 
there aren't any. Wait! There they are! Towers! What are those giant things? And there are four of them. Well, my guess is that those towers might have had something to do with this. I can't really think of a sane reason why we'd all end up where we are right now. It would be best to return to our nations. Thankfully, we can still communicate, so we should gather your younger sisters. Right. We're clueless. They'll be a big help. All right. Then once we reach our respective basilicoms, we will make contact again. Got it. Now that I know everyone's safe, I guess I'll try walking towards Planetoon. I have absolutely no idea where I am, though, so I have no idea where to go. Oh, well. I get the feeling that some people are over that way. I'll go check it out. And so, the four CPU sought out their own nations, anxiously pondering the four strange towers now looming over game industry. This was the beginning of their story. I'm finally here! Seriously though, this tower is super gilded. And now that I'm getting a good look at it from down here, this thing is gigantic! I know, if it's this huge, I bet the view from up top is amazing! If I just shimmy up this thing, I'm sure I'll know where I am. I'm so smart. All right, open sesame! Hey, wait just a sec. It won't open, no matter how hard I push or pull. Ooh, I get it. The joke's that it was a sliding door this whole time, right? Guess not. If I transformed, I could fly all the way up. But I can't seem to do that. It might be because of the damage from the brawl with a gold third. I'm not giving up just because I can't transform. If I can't climb from the inside, then I just gotta scale the outside. Tower climbing, here I go! So, this is the Golden Summit. As a tower enthusiast, I'd love to go in, but work comes first. It seems worth trying to climb it, though. Maybe I'll come back if I get some vacation time. Ah! Hmm? What is that? Someone's voice? But from where? I'm falling! Move, move, move! Wait, from above? I said move! W why is that kid falling from the sky? Kid? I could say the same thing about you, Squirt. Who are you, anyway? The name's I.F. I'm a gust of wind blowing through... Wait, it's Iffy! I'd reunite with you like this, Iffy. It reminds me of the first time we met. If I remember, I accidentally slipped off the top floor of the true Neptral Tower and landed right in front of you. Um, who the heck are you? And how do you know my nickname? Aw, oh, come on. Don't you think that's pretty cold, even coming from you, Iffy? I didn't mean to disappear from the arena so suddenly, so I don't think it's right of you to get angry over it. What in the world are you saying? Did you hit your head when you fell? Do you have a concussion right now? Because if you do, I'm gonna need to call an ambulance to take you to a hospital. Not cool, Iffy. Even I could get angry if you keep poking fun at me like that. <sighs> this girl's no good. Maybe it's because she hit her head so hard. But everything she's saying is complete garbage. Huh? Just a minute. You're not angry and you're not pulling my leg? I'm not angry and I'm not joking at all. Jeez, you're a rude person. Uh, that sounded like a serious reaction. Sounds like? <laughs> it is a serious reaction, weirdo. But that's a relief. You can actually hold a normal conversation. For some reason, I don't see any injuries on you either. So, I'll be going. I'm in the middle of a job right now. Oh, I know. Since you're here, I'd like to ask you for help with my investigation. Have you seen anyone suspicious around here? A suspicious person? Yeah, like a really suspicious old lady. Nope. 
I haven't seen anything. Crap! That probably means it was a hoax. Something wrong with this lady? If you're after her, Iffy, then she must have done something bad. I can't give you all the details, but she's the perpetrator of several thefts. I came here after looking into a few eyewitness testimonies, but I guess they were cold leads. I better head back to the Basilicom and investigate some more before I make a move. The Basilicom? That means you're going to Planetune, right? Yeah, but, well, it'd be a problem to leave a kid in a place like this. Why don't you come with me? Yeah, I'll tag along. You should be fine here. By the way, there's no way you're not injured after that fall. So you need to get over to the hospital ASAP, got it? You heading to the Basilicum, Iffy? That's what I was thinking, but there's a change of plans. I'm gonna gather some more info here before heading out. Oh, cool. So do you think I could? Nope, don't need your help. Aww. This is my job. I can't let a kid like you just shadow me into some dangerous situations. I'm sure you'd just get in the way anyhow. <laughs> You're so stingy. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Just get yourself to the hospital, all right? Okay, fine. Now then, putting aside the fact that if he doesn't know who I am, I made it to Planetune, so I should figure out what the heck's going on around here.
What? Who are you? Don't be silly, it's me, Neptune. N-E-P-T-U-N-E. -E. Neptune? I don't know that name. Oh, not again. You and Iffy tell the meanest jokes. Oh, I get it. You guys are planning a surprise party for me, so you're being mean on purpose. This is Lady Bisha's Holy Basilicom. I will not allow you to make a mockery of it, even if you are but a child. I will not go easy on you. Just hang on a second, will ya? Who's Lady Bisha? This is my Basilicom, isn't it? Good grief, what a noisy child. Leave this Basilicom at once. Huh? Wait, what? Excuse me, but what's going on here? The level of noise is quite unacceptable. Oh, Lady Eastwar, this child is causing a ruckus trying to force her way inside the Basilicom. Child? Why, <coughs> Neptune, is that you? Isty? Isty, you haven't forgotten me? How could I possibly forget you? Oh, goodness. I never thought I would see you again. Oh, Isty, me too. Iffy, the citizens, and everyone else don't know who I am. I was super lonely. Lady Eastwar? Is this an acquaintance of yours? Yes. She is a very old friend of mine. Please, allow me to look after her. Understood. Come, Neptune. Let's not stand around here. We will retire to the back to speak at length. So what in the haze going on around here? To be honest, I am not completely sure. However, it is certain that the existence of CPUs has been erased from the collective memory of game industry's population. So, that's why everyone was acting like they just had met me. Wait, then how do you remember me, Isti? This is only a theory, but it may be because I was created artificially to record Planetune's history. I believe this phenomenon occurred because some unknown power somehow altered the entire history of game industry. That may be why the Gold Third is currently presiding over this world, and the CPUs are entirely non-existent. Ah, I see. There are several distinct changes. The first is the appearance of monsters. They are ferocious and have never actually been identified before. They're entirely new and their numbers are increasing rapidly. There are also reports of a strange phenomenon where some monsters suddenly become violent. In the past, there were cases of monsters being polluted via the deity of sin's miasma. But this is a separate anomaly. Since they attack others indiscriminately, we are calling them delusionary monsters. They are currently under investigation. The second change here is that organizations are using their existence as an excuse to skirmish with other factions senselessly. It is not escalated to full-blown national war, but its scale is slowly increasing. The most serious threat, however, is the group said to be manipulating all of this from the shadows. You're talking about Affimax, right? How do you know that name? That information is being meticulously controlled. Oh, I just saw it on an Enchan thread. Oh, on the internet? Has the information leaked? Oh, don't be silly. It's Enchan we're talking about here. So what's Affimax up to? When I asked on Enchan, people said they didn't want to talk about it. They told me to stop baiting and go back to Nepit. Ooh. Affimax. Reports have indicated that they steal business technology and information, sell it to others, and are the ones spreading the war. Sounds kind of like those mastermind orgs in anime and games that start wars to make a profit by selling weapons and supplies. It is precisely that. Still, just because there are no CPUs, how did the world get so dangerous? Hey. That also means that all those people complaining about us being incompetent were totally wrong. Eat that! That may be so. Recalling those times now, I feel they were by far the most peaceful. By the way, where is the Gold Third member that's ruling over Planetune in my place? Well, I am not sure what caused this twist of fate, but she slacks off 
just as much as you do, and is out today as well. Why is it that those in charge of Planetune never like to work in the slightest? Oh, of course! If Bisha refuses to work, then I can simply have you take her place, Neptune. What? How'd you come to that conclusion? The world is in disorder because of these conflicts. This is the time you must fulfill your duties as a CPU. What? I will not hear any complaints. Planetune? No. The entirety of game industry is facing a crisis. Then can I go help out Ify? Help? I-F? But she does not remember. Yeah, I know. I met her earlier. Is it not painful? Yeah, it is. But it can't be helped. Besides, she might remember me if I hang out with her enough, you know? From your story, Isti, it sounds like Iffy's taking on Affy Max alone. And I don't think that's the safest thing for her to be doing. You are right. We have no idea what the outcome may be. So I will permit you to accompany her. Woohoo! However, you must not get in her way. Understood? <laughs> going here.
Wait a minute.
I've been waiting. I'll go ahead and use this. I'm gonna beat you up. It's all over. Over. Let's 